What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Kingdom. My name is Splattercat. Stoked to have you here today. I put in that strategic pause right there. I learned about that. It has a specific word, but I can't remember what it is. Like when somebody that's doing like a monologue or like a diatribe, they have like a calculated pause in the middle to give people time to like soak it in, and they come back out. Martin Luther King used to do it. Basically, every speaker ever knew how to do it. Like, you say a thing, and then you let it sink in for a minute, and then you're like, wah, and you bust out the backfield, and people are like, oh, he had a point, and then that's basically the way public speaking works. Yay for public speaking. So I've noticed you hammer guys aren't even bothering. You guys are just staying back there. That's cool. Whatever, you know. I don't judge. I mean, there is a troll menace in the forest. I don't know if you guys want to jump on it. I got to make sure I'm still recruiting archers. Because that's like one of the... I wish we still had a camp on the right side of our base. If we had a camp on the right side and the left side, that'd be fantastic. Because on alternating days, I could go back and forth and get them all nice and kitted up. I probably should go over there and refill the shrine, but I'll do it on a different day. It'll be okay. But you really do want to keep that charged up, by the way. If you don't keep it charged up, especially this far into the game, since you can't upgrade your walls any further or anything like that, it can become a problem. It can be an issue. I still wish that hammer guys hung out next to the catapults because the sieges actually wouldn't even be that bad if the hammer guys just babysat the catapult the whole time because the catapult does straight stupidy doopity damage to everything that gets in the way. It one shots the floaters, it really hurts the trolls, it kills most of the little guys with one hit that have like the masks on and whatnot. Oh, you guys still got more money for me? Man, I am popular today. More cash than I even know what to do with. Hammer guys, I really, oh there's a fight over here I think because they turned around. Which means that I think they want to reload the catapult, I think. Well, there you go. Got one little guy in there who almost didn't make it, but everybody else is looking pretty shiny. Ah! You guys just got whomped on. Do you see that? The archer that was walking back to base stole that guy's bow. He was like, oh, look what I found on the ground. Free bow. And the other guy was like, oh, man. Now I gotta walk 38 miles back to where I came from. Let's get this wall up right here. And actually, if I can get this right here, we're packing a wall up right now. If I can get the wall up, that would be amazing. I don't know how many little hammer guys are gonna come over here, but I would like to expand our reach a little bit. I may also put in a tower right here, even though I think it's probably folly. It might be folly, but on these wallies, uh, Wally was an adorable movie. It made me feel sad though. All he wanted to do was hang out with Eva. I mean, I think Wally got kind of like attachment issues. I mean, if I was Wally's friend, I'd be like, oh, you'll meet another one, man. Don't even worry about it. There's plenty of fish in the sea. That's the best advice ever. They're all over the place. You'll be fine. You don't need... They walk down the streets every day, man. It'll be fine. But in Wally's case, I guess they didn't. He was kind of trapped by himself. Still, Wally. Oh, you guys are going to assemble separate walls? Oh, you're just going to do the one in the front? I'm okay with that. Just do the one in the front then. Yeah, there we go. Do the one in the front. Gonna chop some trees too. Hopefully all the hammer guys coming to me. Or they don't... Oh man. I shouldn't have done the trees. I made a mistake. Lots of people want there to be a cancel button too where you can make them cancel out jobs. I agree with that because I frequently schedule things improperly. Still. Part of the game. Give me your coins. There we go. All of your coins are now mine. We should have more hammer guys around here somewhere eventually. Got a couple of knights coming up here, so that'll be cool. Please work on this. Only this. Never anything else. This is the best thing you could ever work on in your entire life. If you work on anything else, I will weep. You will have ruined my life. And I'm a king. It would take a lot of ruining. I'm really, really in the positive right now. It would take a lot to put me in the negative. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'll probably let the other hammer guys run back and grab the catapults, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say, at some point, they're going to go back and get the catapults. They should be able to get that wall up before the end of the night. I'll probably try to get this one finished as well. God, I hope they get that one finished. It may not matter. They always go to the frontmost wall, so it can create problems for you. Hammer guys now logically should go back 
And they should retrieve the catapult. I don't think we're going to get a blood moon tonight, but we'll probably get one during this episode, and it's probably going to be a humdinger. I have no idea where that phrase came from. At what point was there anything ever as a humdinger? A dinger, I know, is a home run in baseball. Like, that's a really, really old school, like, 1910 way of saying a home run. I'm like, ah, I hit a dinger out of the park. You find out about that? Say, put my finger, ah. And they always talk super high-pitched. Today on the radio show, we'll be talking about how, I don't know, that's how they always sound back then. Why did they always sound so tinny back then? Like, I guess speaker technology was not as developed, but you figure there'd be some bass. Like, they just sound really, really nasally. Maybe they just talked like that back then. Like, nobody knew how to project from, like, their lower diaphragm. Get it down in there and just be like, whoo. Like, throw it out there. Man noises. I'm always jealous of YouTubers that have sexier voices than me. It's a character flaw. You know, you're born with what you have. Like, some people just like talking. It sounds like butter. And you're just like, damn it. There's no way you can be unsuccessful in life with that voice. Like, in some way, somebody's going to find out how beautiful. Oh, my God. That is so many coins. It's like hitting the ching. It's like, it's like hitting the, the kingly jackpot. I almost said cha-ching, but I didn't see any humor in that, and so I figured I'd back up off it. Just back up off it. Because you know you want it. You want to be with the sexy king. So, there's bunnies in our kingdom. Aside from the trolls, the bunnies are the next thing we must destroy. I don't know if you guys have realized we only have four farms, and they only grow gold. And so we're basically forced to eat whatever roughage we can pick up off the ground. This is somewhat concerning. I mean, I've tried farming. It doesn't work around here. All you ever get is coins. You grow coins. You can't eat coins unless they're the kind that have the chocolate inside with the tin foil. And even then, sometimes I try to bite through the tin foil because I get overly excited by the chocolate and then my teeth hurt. And I'm like, ah, tin foil mouth. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, I timed that one just right. I was a little bit worried about that, actually. A little bit worried. We need the good walls for the next time we get a blood moon. We had to expand farther to the right than I thought we would have to in order to get to the next gate. So... Leaves us in a bit of a predicament. You know what? I'm not going to take their coins. Not going to take their coins. Those soldiers earned it. You, however, did not earn it. Give me all of your coins. I assume you guys have been merrily killing little bunnies and whatnot. There you go. Yeah, scaring the Seekatropes out of them. There you go. Yeah, I know stuff about bunnies. I know stuff about bunnies. People always act like I only know stuff about cats, but I know stuff about bunnies. Like they eat their own dookie. Because they can't digest it all on the first pass, so they make these little things where they re-eat them. I think they're called Seekatropes or something like that. It's pretty gnarly, I mean, if you think about it. Like, what if every day you had to drop a deuce, and then, because you couldn't get the nutritional value out, you had to like, hmm. No, not even to talk about it. Not even going to talk about it. I'm not even going to talk. It's gross. It's gross. We're not going to get all pink flamingo up in here. Did somebody lose their bow over here? It would appear to be so. He said, and lo. The fields must be sown. I need you guys. I wish I could command the hammer guys to do stuff more efficiently. Like here. Hammer guys, stay over here. I want you to, like, hang out along the edges and just do hammer guy stuff. I mean, it's all good. Just be out here. Be hammer guys. It's all sweet. I might try to build one right there, too, just to keep him in the vicinity. Come on, gents. All right, so now I need you over here. I have plenty of coins, so I'm not really worried about that facet of this whole thing. I think we might need... Are you guys coming? Okay, good. You guys are coming over here. That's all that I care about. I just want you guys to be over here with me because it's scary. And there are monsters. Probably could have planned that a little bit better. But they might make it. I don't know. I'll put some distraction gold out here. Distraction gold! Oh shit, it's a blood moon. That's not good. Okay, distraction gold. Hold them off. It's fine. Whatever. Running away. Blood moon! Blood moon! Blood moon! For you!
I can just like hear the orcish battle music right now. Oh shit, that's not good. Alright, well it's time to retreat back the way that we came. Why do they always hit me from the right? You ever wonder about that? They always hit me from the right. Never hit me from the wrong. You guys should not go over there. That is a horrible miscalculation. I, I would not go over there. Let's just put some yellow tape around it and be like, Yo dog, don't go back there. It's all scary and shit. They got monsters. And so now we'll spend a little bit of time recovering. I'm going to get some gold. And then I'm going to make some hammers. And then some other fun things. There we go. That's the type of cash that I need. Perfect. Thank you, farmers, for continuing to subsidize my never-ending engine of war. More bows. All right, so those are done. Probably going to need some more hammers. I don't know if there's anybody out here that wants to, like, assist me in giving me more cash. But you know how I said that I don't want your gold? You earned it. I lied. You didn't earn your gold, and I need it right now. There we go. So that's good enough. Let's ride back to the right. I'm going to take it a little bit slow because I don't want to burn the horse out for right now. This might have been a good time to go to the left and make sure that, eh, whatever. It'll work. It'd also be nice if you could build multiple ste like siege engines and whatnot. Kind of cool if you could get some better stuff like ballistas and things like that. Like, for example, once the once the archer tower got to its max level, it the archers fell out of it and it just became like an automated ballista that would fire things. I don't know. Alright, so now we gotta rehire like our entire army before they accidentally run up on the enemy's gate. Which is bad. We don't want that. Oh, Jesus. You're so slow and terrible, horse. I hate you. Why are you so awful at everything? See, this is why I don't appreciate you. Rebuild that, Plix. They definitely need to make the recharge time for the horse. Just make him have infinite sprint, please. Like, in all honesty, that would be just the best. And then just make him slow down at nighttime or something. How many more of my little gangsters are out here? And hopefully not past the wall. Huh. They might be past the wall. It's a possibility. Go ahead and get all these rebuilt. They don't normally hit you twice from the same direction. I keep waiting for them to go to the left. We got a better army on the left. The right-hand side of the army is cool, but the left-hand side of the army is like, oh, ah, because they've got an extra knight. And so the bug knight is actually really hurting us right now. It's making our life quite difficult. The other problem is the boulder that the big guys throw. It just like auto hits things and it has no limit on the amount of people it hits. And so they throw this little tiny boulder that's like the size of a dude's head and it hits like 25 people at the same time. And insta gives like half your army out of their weapon instantly every single time it flies out. I actually think it should be limited. It should only be able to hit like two or three people each throw or maybe four or five or whatever. And then you could actually tear up the trolls and make them by telling them sad stories. You could actually kind of make the trolls slowly level up so that the boulder gets bigger and bigger or something and affects more and more people. I don't know, seems cool to me. Rebuild this little bastard over here. I need a couple more hammer guys too, so... That would be totally acceptable right now. If we run out of that stuff, I'm gonna go get some coins from the left hand side. I think our buff must have run off from the wall too, because they went through that wall super quick. Like, they went through that wall way faster than I expected them to. And I don't know if it's just because we got a really bad catapult shot on the first go. Although, for right now, it seems like I spend most of my time recovering, essentially. We did make ground, I guess. I'm not going to say that. As I say, I feel like I spend a lot of my time just recovering from each assault at this point. However, we will do the best that we can with what we have, and we will not complain. It's almost day 50, though. Like, we should probably kill off one of the portals at some point. It's like, get in there. Show it what four. Give it what five. Kick it what six. Woo, God, so much talking today. I don't know. 
Sometimes I work a long day and today has been like, I don't know, my cat woke me up at like 7 this morning. And that doesn't sound that impressive except that I go to bed at like 5 a.m. And so, you know, I woke up wide awake. He was walking all over the side of my head with his icy cold kitty paws. And that phenomena wakes you up pretty efficiently. And so anyways, after waking me up, I ate breakfast. And by that point, I was like too wide awake to actually do anything else. And I was like, well, damn it, kitty. Damn it. Are they just now making it back over here? Oh, man. Luckily, excess archers from the other side will divide themselves and walk to this side whenever they need to. Which is a pretty cool little feature that you can use, but... Yup, just keep pumping out bows. I think I may have lost a lot of soldiers back there. I don't know, though. There's, like, not that many coming in. I sort of feel like something odd has occurred here, but I don't really know how to put my finger on it, so... Eh. We'll just wait it out. I need all these guys to grab their little bows. And then, on top of that, I need somebody to be a new knight so that I can send them into the forest and attack the thingy. I think there should be exactly enough utilities for everybody. So now I'm going to head back to this side. Oh, nope, there's one extra little guy right there who doesn't have a job, but we'll figure him out in just a minute. He'll grab a hammer. He'll grab a hammer, I can virtually assure you. They rebuilt all the walls, so everything's looking pretty out this way. At least they got that done. You guys should not walk in the left-hand direction. You should follow me. I would actually love a command that lets you whistle, and, like, any of the little peasants around you will follow you. Make this a lot easier, too. Because then, you could have them fall back behind walls and things of that nature, like normal intelligent armies would do. Instead of just trying to hold the outer gate the entire time. Hold the outer gate like it's in love with it. Here, you guys build a tower over here because I need all my carpenters to work in this direction. And unless they do... Where did you come from? We're almost there. We got like... One more wall to take. We take like one to two more walls and we should be in position to attack the next one. Like if I leapfrog and go for this one, we'll be in like amazing shape. Yeah, I had a feeling it was like recharging or something. Here, you guys take some of these coins that I no longer need because I am so wealthy. No! Ugh. Damn you peasants. Giving up your bow so easily. Giving up your bow so easily. Really, peasants? Really? See, that rock is really little. I just gotta throw a big rock. There we go. Oh, no. There. Perfect. And so now I have the wall builder come out to here. And then soon we attack. I mean, I guess technically I could have him attack right now. And it'd probably be fine. We lost a guy? I think the knight actually has to get up here, though. And they walk so slow that I can't guarantee he's going to get there in time to actually assail anything. Yes, I know. You guys have coins. Thank you. Thank you for your coinage. Oh, there's the black knight right there. Also, he doesn't really have a lot of affiliated homies right now. And so I don't know if he can actually tangibly take one of the gates with only, like, three guys. Slow to a crawl real quick. It'll like a five count, and I think we should be able to make this work. It's my only hope is that we don't catch a blood moon tonight. That would be the only thing that I would lean towards, is that if we catch a blood moon tonight, it's going to suck because we just spent all of our free time trying to redo the thing that we just did. We took a little bit of ground, obviously. And I do need to get back out here for that wall. Considering, but... Come on, get me out here. I love the music in this game. Absolutely fantastic little tunes. Still need the archer buff to be up and running. Come on, gents. Get up here. Please? I beg of you. Oh my god, we have so far to go. 
So far to go. Alright, I need you guys on this right now. We might be a little bit too close to the wall, but I'm sorry, a little bit cl too close to the portal. They should start shooting at it pretty soon when they go out there, and that means we'll probably kill it at an inopportune time, but... Everything's an inopportune time at this point. Just about everything is wrongly timed now. What happens if you chop down so much forest that you get to the gate and the sunlight hits it? Does it get all super crazy-ish? They're stealing, they're stealing my deer gold. That sucks because that gold was dearest to me. Come on, get that wall up, buddy. Get that wall up. I feel like we're engaging in like a never-ending stalemate now. Although we are taking ground, so I think it's probably winnable. The only other issue I see is that maybe they'll break through that one because these guys are going to fall back to the wrong wall because they're AI. Yeah, they fell back to the wrong wall. It happens from time to time. They might be able to just cat up. What was that? I need to buy you little catapult glasses. There you go. There you go. Alright, so now we attack the gate. We attack! I'm gonna wait for this wall to be... I'm gonna wait for this wall to be repaired, though, because they are gonna come out of their super nasty style. You guys need to work on this. It doesn't take three of you to work on that. And who's gonna repair this wall if you guys don't? Fix this wall. Guys, fix this wall over here. This wall right here, the one that is... There you go. Now they've got it. Now they they might actually break the wall themselves without me giving the order. It's possible. I mean, we might as well give the order at this point. Where are you guys going? You guys need to come back out here and be a part of this. This glorious defense of the kingdom. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have realized this, but we are totally about to have like a blood moon. So, kill please? We have very little time to make this work, so precious little, precious little. Oh man. Yeah, that's why you need two knights. I think that bug's actually going to keep us from winning. In fact, I can virtually assure you it's going to keep us from winning. Because you have to have two knights to attack gates. Like, if you only have one knight, you can't attack a gate. Like, and that's a pretty major balance defect. I mean, that's a, that's a game-killing bug right there, you know? How do you have that bad of aim? Like, really? What are you even shooting at right now? Oh my god. You guys are the worst. You guys are the worst. That and our wall's now partially busted, which is pretty bad.
Something tells me that gate is gonna hurt tonight. Something tells me that gate is gonna hurt. Oh. Where are all my soldiers? Like, why do I have no archers on the front? I feel like something has gone, like, really, really wrong here. I'm going to ride back to the left and check it out. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Kingdom. We're hanging in there. I don't think we're going to be able to win, though, without two knights on the eastern front. And I need the western front to recruit new soldiers from. And so we're kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place right now. There's some more archers right there. I wish they just stayed where they were supposed to stay. Like the whole wandering around thing makes this very, very complicated. Far more complicated than I want it to be. I think I'll probably re-equip some bows over. But anyways, I was ending the episode. Bye, everybody!